Hey guys, in this video we are going to look at the ionic parts of an equation and how you can build up an equation around that. You can then take these and combine them, two half equations, combine them to get the overall equation for the reaction that you're looking at. I'm going to walk you through lots of examples. For this, you are only allowed to add three things, electrons, hydrogen ions and water. And the water is only added to balance out any oxygens. Starting with some simple things here. We need to balance the charges. If we have a positive charge, we need to balance that out with a negative charge to make zero, to match the zero on the other side. This is a reduction reaction. Here is another one. We have a copper 2 plus, so to balance that out, we need to add on two electrons to match the overall zero charge on the other side. This here is a gain of electrons, meaning again it is going to be a reduction reaction. Here we have manganese 7 ions being reduced to manganese 2 ions. Now you'll notice on the left hand side we have oxygens, the only thing we can add to the right hand side to balance that out is water, so we need to add four waters. Now we've added on hydrogen ions to the right hand side in form of water, we have to balance that out by adding eight hydrogen ions to the left hand side. Now we need to balance out the charges so they're the same on the both sides and the only thing we can add to do that is electrons. Become familiar with this equation, we use it a lot. Here we have chromate turning to chromium 3 plus ions. First thing we need to do is to balance out the chromium and then we're going to add water onto the right hand side to balance out the oxygens on the left hand side. We're going to add 7 waters. Now we've added 7 waters, we have to balance that out by adding hydrogens onto the left hand side. We're going to need 14 of those. Now the last thing we can add are electrons and we have to do that to balance out the charges. Here we have some vanadium and again starting off by balancing out the oxygens by adding on water. Adding on hydrogen ions to balance out the hydrogens that we added on with the water and then looking at the charges and adding electrons to balance out the charges. Another example where again we need to add on water, adding on hydrogen to balance out the hydrogen that we added in the water. And then lastly we need to add on three electrons to balance out the charges. I want you to try the next one for yourself before you see me give you the answer. Adding on water to balance out the oxygens. Adding on hydrogen ions to balance out the hydrogens that we added in with the water and then adding on electrons to balance out the charges. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too quick. 